Hi, this is Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Bobbles, and this is my first tutorial doing my new setup. I am so frustrated with being out of frame and out of focus, I thought I would set up all the steps and show you what I did. Now the project I'm doing today is this cute little angel charm. Let me see if I can get him on my hand so you can see him. And I did the wings out of bugle beads and seed beads and his little halo is a jump ring and I just make the wings and string it all together so let me show you the steps and first I'm going to show you what you need to make this little guy first thing you're going to need is some bugle beads now these are from Hobby Lobby but you can use any bugle beads you have I've got these from Cartwright I just happen to like these twists and you can get them in different colors and then you're going to need a seed bead now I tried the ones in the little bottle from Hobby Lobby. These are also Hobby Lobby if I didn't if I said the wrong thing. But the wire I used was too thick to go through those bugle those seed beads. Goes through the bugle beads fine, but just won't go through the seed beads. So I ended up using these that I had. Now they do sell some other seed beads that are in these tubes, and there are 12. They may work better. These are bugle beads also that uh, Wal or not Walmart, if I said Walmart earlier, I meant Hobby Lobby. Uh, Hobby Lobby sells a variety of bugle beads and seed beads in these tubes for $3.99. And they're m many, many times a month. Uh, I'd say most of the time I go in, but at least one week a month, you're going to find them for 50% off, which would be $2 for a pretty hefty sized tube. Not a million colors, but you do have a fairly good selection, and they have some mixtures. Um, and they do have this size of a size 12-0, and those would probably be better. Now these are just some I had bought bulk on eBay, and they fit. Then you're gonna, so you're going to need a wire. This is a round 24-25 gauge craft wire. So you could use whatever wire you have. And then a little ruler, and I, I cut them into 12, a uh, 4 inch, I mean, section is what I'm doing. So you need your wire, you need your bugle beads, your seed beads, then you need your focal beads. You need a large pearl and a small. Now it really doesn't matter what size. I use this size pearl and I'll show you on my, I have this Fire Mountain. This, this is the one that's good. And you can put your bead on there and it tells you the size. And according to this, this is somewhere around a 14 millimeter pearl. And then I just took a smaller one. Now some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, but you just, one that's smaller that can look like a head. So two pearls. And then you're going to need a jump ring. And this is uh, just a nice heavy gauge, I think a six millimeter jump ring also from Hobby Lobby that I bought on, on their 50% off. Nice, shiny, pretty jump ring. Then you're going to need a head pin, and I just have an average size, what is this, a 2 inch? 2 inch with a loop on the bottom. If you have a regular head pin that doesn't, need a, doesn't have a loop but has a really big head, you can do that. I just like to use these, and then I fold them on the bottom. I bend the bottom up so that when you put the pearl on, because see how some of the pearls have pretty large holes and I was having trouble with that. It'll hold it on and you can flatten it better than I did there but it'll hold it on and you won't have to worry about it coming apart. Then when you're done you're going to string all your components on here and I'll show you how to finish it. But the first thing you're going to do is cut a four inch piece of wire and I just use my little ruler, of course you probably have a regular size ruler, but I cut approximately four inches and then I folded it in half okay then I took now I have these weird pliers you probably have the double round now I had a pair of double round I couldn't find them but I take my round ones and I just do right at the tip it came out a little bigger than I wanted but then I I put it on here like this and I just twist it a couple times and get a little loop that's what's going to slide the wings onto your wire then oh I just showed you exactly what not to do. Um, I thread this on and I, I put this side first and then I take 
and hold that up and then I put the other side on and see I just dumped them all off of here so you just re-thread them on it's really not too hard um, and find the other seed bead but this happens so it's not a bad thing like I said I never mind making a mistake on camera because okay so you're gonna have them on like this now I'm gonna tell you right now if it makes you nervous if you're afraid you'll drop them you can do one side at a time that is perfectly fine but you're gonna put them on so that the loop is at the bottom you got a V then you're gonna take there I dropped one again and you're gonna make a W you're basically gonna bend up you know flip it over and that's why you might want to do it you know bend it over and flip it up at this at this joint here right, let me get it under the right here on the first bead these are clear I probably should use the color bead on the first joint you're gonna bend it up I don't want to do that because I still got to do the tutorial uh, I'm gonna do the the pictures on the blog so when you're done it'll look like a W it'll go from a V to a W okay then you're gonna take and fold it one more time now if you notice when I folded it I bent now I've got the loop on the bottom right here the loop is at the top I'm gonna bend it and that's basically what I've done right here is I've bent them each down this way okay so you're gonna have the wires going down the back then I take and I bend them around one more time from the front to the back I bend them one more time and then I take my pliers and I flatten this loop and at that point you can cut off these with your wire cutters and you'll be left with a little pair of wings and it's got your nice little loop and you don't have to worry about everything looking perfect it's going to be hidden inside the loop is going to be hidden inside you just got to make sure you got it flat now you're going to take your head pin that you've either a flat bottom if you like the decorative ones you can use a decorative one because they sell these um, that everything from a flower on the bottom to a big filigree let me get it out of here big fill well you can make your own you can twist the metal or buy one that has the big filigree I've got like one with a big filigree ball on the bottom but I thought that would be distracting from the angel so I just wanted to do a flat bottom and since I couldn't seem to find um, uh, I don't have that many good ones uh, that are flat headed that had a big enough base that wouldn't go up through the pearl I just bent it so you're going to start stringing on the individual pieces so you're going to string on the body and you're going to string on the wings and you're going to string on the head and then you're going to put the little halo on now I'm not going to demonstrate this last little bit because if you do jewelry you know how to do a loop if you don't know how to do a loop I'm going to do a link below to my basic charm tutorial and it'll show you how to do these loops and you would want to practice a few times before you try to do it with this jump ring in your way so what I would suggest if you've never done a loop make yourself a pair of earrings string a few beads onto a head pin and practice looping and once you loop it then you're going to take your wire cutters and cut the excess off. I don't know where my wire cutters are. Oh, here they are. So the basic tools you're going to need is one to two pairs of tweezers, uh, t uh, not tweezers, fine nose pliers, jewelry pliers. I always keep two because sometimes you need one to hold it and one to bend. And then I have, mine is got the flat and the circle. I couldn't tell you where I got these. I got these years ago. But you can get this two loop they're both round and those work just as great in fact I was going to use that and I think I lent them to my daughter when she was working for a jewelry company and then you need your wire cutters so you're gonna loop this but now keep in mind you want the loop to be a little bit rounder 
you don't want that the little halo falling off so when you do it you want to loop it around pretty round and um, that way it keeps it from falling off now I will show this in my picture tutorial but if I did it now I'd have to do another entire charm so in my picture tutorial I will bend this and show you how but on here I'm assuming that most of you know how to do a basic jewelry loop on uh, on a head pin but like I said if you don't I will do it on the picture tutorial on my blog which is linked below and I will link my basic charm tutorial which will show you how to make a loop you just want to make an extra big loop. So you're going to loop it higher up on your um, ring thing here, on your looper. You're going to do a little bit higher, and you're going to pull it down a little bit just to make it just a little bit wider so your jump ring doesn't fall off. Now, you can actually hoop it into your loop, too, but I found I like the idea of having it separate. You know, have this and then loop on top of it so that, um, you know, it looks like this. And you can put the loop so it hangs like this. I like putting it, uh, it really this moves so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. But you can put the chain right through this if it's sideways. If it's like this, you can put a jump ring if you want to put a bigger chain through it. If it's going to be a charm you hook on something, then you can hook a small... Um, uh, lobster claw on here as you loop it or you can put another jump ring in the lobster claw but there's no end to what you can do but these make cute little charms you can actually make necklaces or earrings like this would go right on an ear wire right here you could loop that right onto an ear wire and you can do them in any color of pearl you want this was inspired by ones I did years ago I don't think yeah here's a blue one I did probably 20 years ago but I did the loop a lot different back then and I just didn't want to do I did the whole thing different I didn't want to do this because it's deceptively it looks deceptively easy but trust me it's not at least for me it wasn't and I didn't like the wire knot because I did a kind of more of a wire wrap back then 20 years ago um, I wanted to do it simple so that anybody could follow the directions and this was just a little more complicated. I'm just showing you this to show you that colored one. And, and there was too much of a gap between the head and the body, too. I didn't like that. But I just want to show you that you can use any color. I mean, I got uh, pink pearls, orange. I've got a purple. As long as you have two sizes or if you don't mind the head being a different color. Now, you can also use... A sparkling stone like a round faceted stone for the head and frankly you could use a round faceted stone for the whole thing you could even do a long bead like this for the body if you wanted to so you don't have to use pearls I just originally did it with a pearl and wanted to show you with a pearl but there's a basic tutorial I'm going to snapshot each stage of this and put it on my blog which will be posted first so that when I post this tutorial you can go immediately to the blog and look at each step in photos um, but I want to see how this goes if everybody likes this or if you prefer my imperfect videos where I'm struggling to stay in frame and the lighting's terrible but uh, I thought I'd give this a try see if you liked it a lot of times people want to see specific steps, and I figured if I take nice, big, clear pictures, that might be even better. Anyway, thank you so much, and I will be back soon. I hope you enjoyed this, and this morning when I looked, we were only a couple people away from our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'm hoping in the next week I'll be able to get that started and um, pick the prizes I'm going to uh, give the winner a choice of. And we'll uh, hopefully be able to do that pretty soon. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you will subscribe and like this video. And I will be back very soon. Bye.